So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Pratt channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we are going to present in today's video. Today's video is very informative for those students who are targeting Anna University because today we are going to discuss a major aspect here, which is the cutoff for the Indian and NRIs in Anna University. So this video is going to be very informative. Just a small request. Please don't put your phone down. Keep watching till the end. You'll really enjoy it. All right, let's start this video. Now, before I start this video, let me just ask you a very simple question. That is, what comes in your mind when you think about the cutoff? Cutoff for any particular college, university, or for the government exam or simple entrance? Yes. Now, this cutoff is actually the functions of various parameters. Let's discuss briefly about this and then we'll move on to the cutoff of Indian and NRIs. All right. See, cutoff is actually the functions of four parameters in here. This is the LOD, which is level of difficulty. Take a simple example. Like suppose the level of difficulty for this year falling is high. So obviously the cutoff will be low or if the level of difficulty is low, the cutoff will be high. If this is moderate, then cutoff is also going to be moderate. All right. So level of difficulty is an important factor here. Again, the another factor is pool or the number of applicants. Why? Because it is a filtering thing. What is cutoff? Cutoff is just an established marks by which they filter out student, right? So suppose there are total of 100 students who is applying for the particular college. So this cutoff thing reduces the number by 50% or say by 60%, right? So this is a filtering thing in here. Now the third parameter is standard setting on research based method. Yes, on the research based method, like again, in this particular case, there are various factors like what is the IQ of the student or what is the IQ as per the demographics, right? So there are many factors which prevails and which are actually the functions of this cutoff. So what do you think? It keeps on increasing. Do comment in the comment section below. All right, let's start. So let's start with the Indian. Okay, let's start with NRIs first. Let's start with NRI, which is NRI, CIWGC, FN for the last year, because this year it is going to happen. So as for the last year data, that is the last year 2019 to 2020, I took a top college from the Sandai University, which is College of Engineering in the Gindi campus. So out of 200, uh, for the CIWGC category, this is 180.5, right? And this was the maximum cutoff. The minimum was 159. So again, cutoff one, cutoff two, cutoff three, that comes, right? As per the number of applicants. If I talk about the NRI students in biomedical engineering department, this is 144 maximum, and the minimum was 111. Again, if we talk about the foreign nationals, the cutoff for the biomedical is 187. And this is vacant for the minimum because what has happened many times is happening is that some seats are reserved for the category students, but because of not coming those students in this college, that seat is still vacant, right? So that's why it is vacant. If I talk about civil engineering, this is 166, the maximum cutoff in CIWGC category and 106 in the minimum. Again, in the category CIWGC. For the NRI students, this is 162. That is a maximum and the minimum was 142. For the foreign national, this is 186, which is, was the maximum. And the minimum was again the vacant thing, right? So there is a complete data in front of me. You can just see these are the top courses from the top college. And this is the required cutoff. Let's move on. Now, before I move on, let me just announce a very important part here, which is for the DASA and CIWG. Now, this is for the NRI students. So for the NRI students, we have prepared an NRI ebooks that is related to DASA and CIWG. So you can download it from the link in the description below. So we have a compiled set of NRI ebooks and that's related to DASA and CIWG. So this will really help the students for preparing and also to check where the preparation is going. All right. Complete for the NRI students. You can download. All right. Let's move on. Let's discuss about two more colleges under the Anna University, which is ACT campus and MIT, which is Madras Institute of Technology. So again, if I talk about the CIWGC category in apparel technology, the maximum cutoff was 182 out of 200 and 138.5. That was the minimum cutoff in CIWGC category in apparel technology. For the NRIs, it was 141, the maximum and 105, the minimum. And for the foreign national, this was 113, the maximum and vacant for the minimum, right? So this is again a table in front of you. You can just have a look and you will have a fair idea at this point of time is that see the total marks was 200 and that was obviously going to be this year also 200 and the maximum is somewhere around 190 
and the minimum is somewhere around 107 to some courses like 117 MITs. So what you can take a call, you can take that out of 200, you have to score bare minimum of 60%, that's 120 or above your short shot in this particular college, all right? Now let's discuss about the Indian students. So again, out of 200, the marks from mathematics, physics or chemistry, this says that actually they have divided the students into four categories. This is again based on demographics. As I was just telling, as cutoff is a function of demographics. So for the demographics or for the North students, this is 193. For the South student, this is 199.33. This is approximately equals to 200. For the Western students, this is 189. And for the Eastern students, this is 187. Right. So this is the cutoff as for the various, I mean, the four sectors or essentially four this east, west, north, south of the country, all right, uh, proper functions of demographics is seen in particularly here, all right. So this is just a brief about the cutoff of and then and NRIs in Anna University. I hope you like this video. Again, if you have any doubt, any question, you can ask in the comment section below. Also subscribe our YouTube channel, the Strapcard channel for more videos and updates like this. Do press the bell icon so that you won't miss any videos from us, all right. See you in the coming videos. Thank you.